Hi guys, it's Michelle from Way to Sun. I'm not going to turn the camera around because it is 11.36 at night and I have been doing this. This is my study for a test tomorrow. Um, the really funny thing is while I am studying, I have my TV on, but it's on mute. But I also have my computer on and look who I'm watching. That's Jen from, oh, that's a really bad pause. Sorry, Jen. Oh, it's Jen and Dawn um, from, it used to be Getting Organized by Jen and Busy Bee Jen, but now it's Pretty Neat Living. So excited for them. But anyway, um, I just wanted to vlog for a minute, kind of take a break from reading psychology a lot. Yes, I buy used. It's cheaper. Um, and this book I couldn't rent. They actually made us buy it. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I have, like, notes and then notes and then... Oops, I just closed my book. And then the study guide to kind of give me a hint on what to focus most of my study on, not all of my study. And then, of course, PowerPoints that we go through during class and sometimes like like she didn't even oh that's chapter one that's right I forgot to print those out for that class so those are kind of pointless to even have but anyway and I had to call the computer people because my computer a brand new computer only had it for like a week and a half and it wouldn't let me log on to the internet so I had to call Geek Squad and get that going I spent like 35 minutes just on Geek Squad Kind of sad and depressing. Did you guys notice what's underneath my computer? It's one of my bags. It's a Mickey Mouse bag. Anyway, I just wanted to take a minute and take a break from the studying. My brain is starting to feel like mush. And I'm doing a major college no-no. I'm waiting till the night before to cram. Although I'm not really cramming so much as highlighting in my book certain areas that I need to make sure I... I have marked in the book. The test is not done in class. It's an online test. And we're timed, but we only have to cover four of the multitude of topics that she gave us. So hopefully um, during the test, I'll be able to pull from memory what I need to know. But hopefully, if nothing else, I can at least quick tab to the topics and then quick skim which is why I highlight the way I do. I don't highlight everything. Just there's there's always key sentences that help me pull up what you know that topic was and what I needed to do or to know for that topic. So like, you know, like this one, the topic is uh, about the DSM-5 versus the DSM-4, and those are too much comorbidity. So that's why that is highlighted. But this way, when I'm quit, you know, doing the quick reference, this whole section is talking about it. But I know this right here is where I need to start and where I need to focus. And like these few sentences are what is going to pull up my memory for all the rest of this. It doesn't work for everybody. I've actually had other people say, how do you do that? But it's just how my brain works. Once I have one or two key sentences and phrases that I'm able to go, oh yeah, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. And so, anyway, thankfully, my brain can work that way. Unfortunately, I can't always pull up the start of the sentencing to know what I need to look for. Um, so anyway, I just thought it was cool that I'm watching one YouTuber as I vlog my way through studying. So Jen, thank you for helping me. You're, you're kind of my white noise tonight. You're my calm. You're my calm, Miss Jen, while I do this. <laughs> it gets so stressful sometimes. And it doesn't help that I couldn't get to this until today. If I'd have been able to get to it yesterday, so I had two nights to work on it, I'd have felt better, but I couldn't print it off until very upset. And there's also like a video link that won't pull up on there. And then there's a, um, 
there is an article that I was able to pull up on my computer so I can at least um, look at that article. So anyway, I wish I had something better for you guys to look at, but I am a hot mess at this point. <laughs> there is no way I would put myself on camera right now. Uh, I'm going to end this just because I think I'm torturing you guys at this point. But I just want to touch base. And um, for those of you that may have watched the video from this morning, which will be uploaded before this, but it'll be uploaded here in a minute. Um, the video game fiasco that we had for Jaden. Um, Jaden pre-ordered a video game for his Xbox 360. Unfortunately, when he ordered it, he grabbed for the Xbox One. And nobody picked up on this. And then when we went to pick up the game, of course, I didn't go in the store because of my leg being in the condition that it's in. And I'm trying not to walk on it more than necessary. So hubby went in. And just, you know, bought, ooh, excuse me, bought the game that was pre-ordered. Comes out to the van and is like, did he mean to order the Xbox One? I'm like, I don't think so because he was planning on playing it tonight. So Hubby goes back in to return it. Well, in the process of returning it, they gave him a $5 gift card. And because he didn't pre-order the 360, he had to pay for the $5 gift card, had to pay it back because he used it to buy um, a movie that was released today for me. And so anyway, he, um, I feel bad not looking at you guys when I'm filming. So hot mess here I am, I told you. So anyway, he, um, you know, got the 360 game and in the process of all this, because he was in and out of the store so much and backed by electronics, apparently security decided he needed followed. You know, that's never a good thing for my husband because with his, he used to work in security. So for him, he gets rather, he gets upset and rightfully so. I mean, some people say, of course, you're not doing anything wrong. <sighs> When you work in that field, you know what to look for. You know certain behaviors and certain things will, will tell you that person's probably going to steal. Is it um, profiling? Not necessarily. We're not saying they're doing it because that person's race or because that person wears this kind of clothes. We're saying that their actions will tell you what they're going to do. So his actions didn't in any way dictate, you know, he was doing anything wrong. He went back to the department. He purchased the video legally when he came, or the game legally. When he came back in, he was returning it with the receipt and telling them what had happened and they still followed him. It just upsets him. It makes him very angry when they, because it seems to happen to him a lot. Um, so anyway, dealing with that whole fiasco, what should have been, excuse me, a five minute stop turned into a 30 minute stop and just a rough way for him to start the day. On the upside though, he was able to spend some time with his dad today and um, I love that his dad now lives in town because he has been able to spend so much time with him and I really think that was missing from his life before. So that he can do it now, I think is so amazing and so important. So I'm happy he got to do that and he got to have a better day than what his day started because his day really did not start well at all. So anyway, oh my gosh, I forgot about those flowers back there. Crud, I need to get those out of there. So anyway, I just wanted to tell, I wish I wanted to stop from studying, take a break, brain break as we call it. Um, and touch base with you guys and I hope everybody had a magical day so uh, pray for me tomorrow an abnormal psychology test and a Spanish test Ugh. I am I'm really struggling with Spanish I'm gonna have to get hooked up with the tutor tomorrow my goal is to get a hold of the tutor over there and make an appointment a standing appointment so that every week after you know, this class, I know that I'm going 
straight over to the tutor's um, office and getting some tutoring because I can't continue like this. I'm not going to pass this class, and that's just not acceptable. So it's time to step it up. My best thumb forward. Ha ha. Put my best foot forward and be the student that I know that I am. So I will. I will do what it takes. <laughs> and I'll probably spend a lot of nights doing this and crying. <laughs> So anyway, have a magical day, everybody. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to su subscribe. And please like my video. Thumbs up, right? Thanks, guys.